Hello friends, I'm Zombie Zebra, this is Zombie Zoology, and our topic for today is the Ardal Chiari Malformation. An Arnold Chiari malformation manifests in the lower cerebellum, which is largely responsible for things like balance. The cerebral tonsils herniate through the base of the skull, otherwise known as the foramen magnum. This, in turn, causes the cerebral tonsils to be pushed through the base of the skull and compressed. When there is compression on the brainstem, the portion of the brain that extends down into the spinal cord, involuntary bodily functions such as breathing, digestion, and even the beating of your heart can all be affected. Symptoms include severe headaches, muscle weakness, dizziness, loss of fine motor skills, and even visual disturbances. It should be noted that there's no apparent correlation between size of the herniation and severity of symptoms. So in pursuing treatment, the most important thing to consider is the symptoms you're feeling rather than the severity of the obvious herniation. The most common treatment for a Chiari malformation is decompression surgery. Now for some people, symptoms will be minimal and surgery of that severity would not be worth it. However, for some people, that kind of surgery is incredibly necessary and life-changing, so it is up to you and your neurosurgeon to decide what's best for you. There are a couple different methods for this surgery that various neurosurgeons employ, however, the basic idea is to create more space so that the cerebellum and brainstem can coexist peacefully. People who've had the surgery often refer to themselves as zipper heads because the scar it leaves looks like the tracking of a zipper. I myself have a 6mm Chiari, however, I have opted not to have surgery because my previous spinal surgery has left me already a little screwed up up there. But in all seriousness, if you know and love someone with a Chiari, please take a second to share this video to raise awareness of this often debilitating disorder. And if you are someone with a Chiari, please feel free to leave your experience with it down below as well as any advice you have for me. I've only had this diagnosis for a couple of months, and since finding out I'm not a great candidate for surgery, I am reeling from the fact that I may be stuck with these headaches forever. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, be well.